Fiona is out there at Rerooted 210 Urban Winery trying some of their Texas wines right now. You have, yeah, got the nice assignment today. I sure did, Mike. Okay, you got the pizza, but I've got the wine and the charcuterie. We'll get to all that in just a little bit. But having an urban winery at Hemisphere comes with many perks. And joining me to talk about those perks is the owner of Rerooted 210 Urban Winery and certified sommelier, Jennifer Beckman. Cheers. Cheers. Nice to have you in. This is such an incredible space. Very, Thank very you. cool to be here. And one of the most interesting things about this winery is that your wines are on tap. Yes. First wine in a box, now wine's on tap. Tell us why. Well, we have worked in the Texas wine industry for about 12 years. Uh, one of the things that really upset me was that we saw a lot of waste when going into bottle. And while many wines need to be in bottle for long-term aging, most don't. Uh, so we estimate that we cut our carbon footprint in glass use and waste by almost 65% when you factor in uh, being able to pour directly into glass from tap into samplers without having to just use that bottle as a wasted receptacle. Uh, we also serve our wines to go. Uh, we use traditional growler bottles, uh, much like a beer growler. They have a flip top tab. Uh -huh. They preserve the wine really indefinitely. They're airtight seals. Uh, so what we do is we just serve these bottles filled just as you would see. We tag them with our artwork and our label information. We offer our guests the opportunity to bring the wines back to us to receive a, a discount on their next refill. We do a 5% discount. Uh -huh. When you bring the wines back, they're able to be fully sanitized and put back into reuse. So all sustainability, so even less guilt while you're enjoying your wine. And kind of walk us through, because these are all Texas wines, right? Absolutely. So uh, we currently carry uh, just about all Texas wines across the board, with a few exceptions of a few international wines, to show really the relationship between the grapes where they're most natively from and grapes here from Texas. Uh, we currently have seven wines under the rerooted label. Uh, our wines are all produced at a shared cellar in the Fredericksburg area called Slate Mill Wine Collective. Uh, we have two whites, one rosé, and then we have several wines here from other producers uh, featuring wines from Coleman Cellars in Fredericksburg, Vinovium Cellars, and uh, Wine for the People, which has a Dripping Springs tasting room. In addition to the wines, uh, we're able to carry several ciders. So we choose hard ciders that we think are more traditionally produced in a French style. Uh, Texas Keeper out of the Austin area is really one of our favorites to work with. They do dry style ciders that are really creatively done. So ranch rosé, there is a San Antonio rosé. Can we mm -hmm. try a rosé? Absolutely. Can see that? Okay. And you, um, you host events in this space, right? We do. We do anything from small semi-private uh, meet and greets or happy hours all the way up to full buyout events. We do classes, wine education, food and wine pairing classes, you name it. We really like to pair the, the education to be approachable and really be able to reach people at all levels and help people just love wine better in their everyday life. We like to make sure that they walk away feeling a little bit smarter, but you know, able, able to apply it to how they live. Okay, all right, I'm gonna taste this. Now, is Hemisphere open container? Hemisphere's open container. So uh, anywhere within the boundaries of Hemisphere, you can take wine to go. Uh, we have small wine to go glasses. Uh, they just pop apart. Oh, <laughs> look at that. We've even got lids. So uh, we just fill up. And? and you can take this down to the splash pad with the kids. Love it. All right, now coming up, we're going to be making one of their meat and cheese boards just ahead in the show. Thank Looking forward so to it. <laughs> I love that, that you can have wine to go right down there and just enjoy uh, Hemisphere Park. Don't be jealous, Mike. Don't I, be jealous. I am a little bit jealous, but um, I've got the good pizza here. So, you know, uh, you bring the wine, I'll bring the pizza. And we'll be all set. All right, Thank man. you very much. We're going to talk to you in just a couple of minutes. Once again, Fiona, if you'd like more information about uh, 210 Urban Winery, rerouted 210 Urban Winery, pardon me, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.